Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Noelia, and please take a second to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Now, as you guys can see from the title, today we're gonna be decluttering all of my products and kind of figuring out whether or not I should get a third shelf, whether I should downsize and donate a ton of my products, we're gonna get rid of a bunch of expired products that I know are definitely expired on my shelf. Like we're gonna go through all the products and all the craziness. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me because it's a lot. And I know you guys are definitely interested in topics like these because you guys always wonder how many products do I have. Now, a lot of you guys know, but I am a natural hair influencer. So I do receive a lot of products from PR when it comes to brands. They love to send over new collections or send over just their entire collection if I choose to review it or not, it's up to me. Um, I do work with a lot of brands as well, so when I work with them, they do send over products. So I have been in a space where I am like a mad hoarder right now. Like I am hoarding all of my curly hair products and I've come to a place and I've come to realize I only have one head and I can only do or I can only have so many products. And right now I'm actually looking at a ton. I'm gonna show it to you guys. But I just cleaned out my room. I've been in like a super decluttering mood. So also I'm in this really cozy sweater cause I'm in my basement and my studio is in my basement. I'll give you guys all the tea on that in a few. But um, my basement's really cold so I have this super cozy Sherpa on. I love anything Sherpa I love. But what I was saying is that I've been in such a decluttering mood so when I realized how many products I had just stored in bags in my room, I was like, yeah, this is disrespectful. Like, this is not okay. So I decided today's the day. We're gonna be filming this. I'm gonna be sharing all of this with you guys. I need to decide, I guess in this video, I'll kind of decide whether or not I'm going to just downsize or am I going to just get another shelf? Like, what is the plan? I don't even know. Like, I'm going into this video completely blind. I have no idea. But I figured this would be perfect for Curl's Mist so you guys can get an idea of Maybe some ideas for yourself. Maybe if you are someone who also hoards products, maybe this would be something you'd be wanting to do. Also, quick disclaimer, even though we're about two minutes into this video, I look a hot mess. I'm gonna just start being myself. I mean, not that I'm not, but I'm definitely gonna start being more of myself in my videos because this is really what I look like <laughs> on a daily basis. Like, I'm not even do, I'm, no, we're not gonna be putting makeup on to be cleaning a closet. Now, if I happen to have makeup on because I was out during the day or if I did something during the day, like cool. No, you guys are gonna keep getting the raw version of me. You guys have definitely seen me without makeup looking hella crazy on this channel before. This is not new, but today is just like a different level. Like I don't even know what's going on with my face. I literally am so oily. I'm not even sweaty. I'm just, <laughs> my skin just looks so oily. We, we, look, we look crazy here, but it's fine. We're family, so get used to this. Yeah, just get used to this. So I came ready. I came with a big trash bag. I came with some coffee and I brought over my water because if you're drinking coffee, you gotta drink your water just to compensate because you're not trying to get dehydrated here. But I came ready. I came ready. I'm just like, nope, today we are going to get this out of the way today. It is, four, oh, it's almost 4.44, but it's 4.42 p.m. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I do wanna wash my hair today as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the time or the energy, but we're gonna try. This is the life of me, my life. I spent the whole morning just like organizing what Curls Miss is gonna look like because I definitely wanna do things a little bit more differently this year. Last year, I didn't do too bad for it being my first time, but I wanna be more strategic with the videos and how I edit them and all of that. So as you guys will know in the first video, I already explained to you guys what to expect. So I don't know what I'm actually gonna post this video, but you guys will see, you'll see it when I post it. Let's get right into it. I'm doing too much talking, but I'm gonna show you guys what my products are looking like right now, and then we're gonna figure out whether or not we should get another shelf or just donate a ton of them. So let's get into it. Hey you guys, so you saw how I was looking down while I was filming that intro. This is everything I was looking at. And when I say this is all I was looking at, this was literally all that was in my room. Like there is enough for like two, three years in here, no joke. Like this is a whole bag full of products right there. It's like borderline embarrassing to like have this many products and not have them nicely organized. And I'm like, I'm a hot mess. So your girl here is going to get her life together today. Um, but this is just what was in my room. So let's go into my studio and see if we can make room for these on the shelf. And yeah, let's see what happens. You guys, so this is my product shelf. Let me just zoom out of this. 
So I got these two shelves and they are just filled to the top of products. So there are a few, like I know for a fact that these Uncle Funky's daughters, like they're definitely expired. This um, Eden Body Works, like all of this. I remember this is like one of the first PR packages I got. So we're gonna get rid of those. I gotta look into my bounce curl because I feel like these are fairly new still, but we're gonna go through that. Um, Care Care can go. <laughs> um, I do know that these, oh, this is new. I think this is new too. Um, curl Smith is fairly new. My curls is pretty new. Um, the main choice, girl, it has been so long. I don't even know what the original color for this is. So we may be getting rid of her. So yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of like little things. This shelf is kind of empty, I don't know. It must have just been when I took the um, Innersense products out. Um, some of these Kaleidoscope products still even have the little safety thing on the top. So there's just so much that needs to go. Um, yes, Curl Keeper is old. I feel like I'm talking to somebody, but I'm literally talking to myself. But <laughs> these Curl Keeper products are definitely old. I'm gonna set up my camera. I'm gonna just start taking things out. What I'm gonna go ahead and do first is remove everything that I think and know is expired on this shelf, on both shelves, to make room. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I end up doing. Because I may not even need to get another shelf if I get rid of enough products. So let's see. Okay, so I was able to narrow it down and bring it from what it was to this. This is just this current shelf. This has nothing to do with the ones that I have in the bags and all of that. These are all unexpired products. As you guys saw, I went through most of them. I could just tell by the looks of certain products. Like, I already knew that they were old from older collaborations. So if I knew they were over three years old, they were going to get off the shelf because... Normally their lifespan is not more than three years and I know there's a lot of people that still use them but I'm not one of those people and I'm not going to donate products to my followers or to anyone that I care about and you know risk them getting some type of bacteria from using old products. So we're definitely not going to do that without a need so this is what we're working with here. So what I'm going to do is actually clean out the shelves because they have a lot of dust so I'm going to just like clean them out. I'm going to go grab some Lysol wipes. And I'm also going to start a little corner of donations. I would love to donate a ton of products to you guys as well, but mostly my newer ones because you guys already know. Um, but this is what it's looking like right now. I'm going to clean it out and then, yeah. So as far as a theory when it comes to organizing, I, I'm not doing it technically by alphabetical order, but it's kind of working out that way. I kind of did Aussie bounce curl curls, but I do know I have a ton of products in bags. So I'm wondering if I should separate those first and then decide where everything's going. Um, I'm, I'm just going to like organize the ones I already have here for the most part, like kind of just like outline where I'm going to put them. But... I'm thinking about how I have so many other products in bags that I don't even know of. So I'm going to just set them all out and organize them. Let's do that. So then that way I know what I have of what. This is going to be a project. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wash my hair today. It is 5.49 already. We started this at 4.42. So we're already about an hour and change in. So let me do that because I do have a ton, like... It's bad. I actually just found some more over here of products that are just in boxes that I haven't even, like, it's bad. So let's go ahead and, se like, separate them, and then <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind today. The thing is that I've been procrastinating this for so long that if I didn't just force myself to do it, it wasn't going to get done. So we're going to just, we're going to get it done today. I don't care what time I finish, we're going to get it done today.
Okay, you guys. So it is 8.17. And I just kind of finished. Um, I want to say kind of because the bottom shelf I kind of left as a, like a miscellaneous one because I'm not sure if I want to get a third shelf. I think a third shelf would be a bit much, but this is what I did. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is what the organization is looking like. Definitely looks so much better. Like when I tell you that I took out so much Curl Smith, I took out so much Curl Smith. The bottom is this one over here. The bottom is very miscellaneous. Like, hold on, let me move over. So, this is what the top looks like. I might take out Kaleidoscope because I really don't ever use them, but they are still new. So, Inner Sense is there. Sultanicals. There's literally no trend to these shelves. I'm kind of just putting them together based on the amount of products that I have, like the entire collection or all of that. So, this is what the bottom looks like. I do have the entire Bread Beauty collection that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys very soon. That's the first thing I noticed. Um, so that I don't have up yet, but this is what it's looking like. I think we did pretty good for today. I am so tired guys, but this is literally what the final looks like. But yeah, so with that said, what I did is I took out like four bags and with that, I'm actually going to do a giveaway with you guys. I'm going to do a few giveaways throughout Curlsmith. So I figured that would be perfect and I kind of got a head start on what products I'm going to be giving away. I want to give away more new products. I don't want to give away used products, but if you guys are into getting used products, when I mean used, I mean like slightly used, let me know because I'm also down to give those away. But I took out four bags, like four full bags of new products. So I mean, I'm happy with the progress that I made because I do feel like things look more organized now. So that's literally what my goal was for today. Um, I also have this bin over here. I haven't even looked at it. I'm not going to look at it today because <laughs> your girl is tired. So that is that. You guys saw the mess that I had in the middle of my floor. That's finally gone too. I tossed out a ton of boxes and all these unnecessary pieces of packaging. I've gotten like, I've just, it, it was just a lot. You know what's crazy is when I actually started the influencing thing and when I actually realized what I was doing, because at first I was like, what is, like, I don't even know what's going on. So once I realized like, oh, brands are noticing me, like my whole goal was to just get free products. Like I was like, oh my God, if I get free products, I'm going to be so happy. And then obviously it turned into something completely different, but like I started looking at all the products I had and I was like, wow, I dreamed of this moment. And now I'm here like, oh my God, this is so stressful. But at one point in my life, this was like a dream of mine. Like, I mean, it still is. Like, I love my job and I, I love everything about it. But like organizing and all, of, it's just so, it gets so cluttered so easy because it's weekly. There's new boxes of this, new boxes of that. And like now I'm getting skincare, beauty. Like I'm getting a bunch of different things. So... I love it. It's like Christmas every day whenever I get a new package. Like I love all of that. But then I started to realize like, wow, this is really all I wanted when I started this influencing thing. And it's, it was kind of like a moment of like, wow, I did that. I think that's like what my weird attachment to my products are because I kind of feel like, wow, I kind of earned all this. Like I worked for this. So it's hard for me to just like let go of things, you know? And clearly I have an issue letting go because nobody needs this amount of products. But little by little, I will be starting to let go more and more. But I do give away a lot of products, guys. Like, I give away a lot. I have a lot of curly friends, curly family, or, or curly family with kids that have curly hair. Like, nobody around me ever goes without products. Like, if you're close to me and you have curly hair, it's very rare that you have to go out and buy product because I always have you set. But yeah, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm so tired like I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to wash my it's 822 should I wash my hair today or should I just hold off till tomorrow I could always hold off till tomorrow I don't know we'll see but that's all for today's video thank you guys for joining me in this crazy mess of a video I feel like it was all over the place but I know a lot of you have been asking to get a little deeper into my life and my work and all of that so I figured today would be a perfect day to get you guys started on that but if you guys have any questions regarding anything I mentioned in this video or if you have any questions regarding influencing or anything along the lines of that feel free to comment it down below or if there's anything that you're looking to see during curls miss feel free to comment that down below as well. But that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.